Hey, Wazoo. Well, that's a good question. Um, I would say my, my best friend on campus probably is you, Wazoo. Oh, a uh, friendship bracelet. Thanks. Very thoughtful, Wazoo. Hey, President Olson, do you have time to answer a few more questions? Yeah. If you didn't pursue a career in education, what would you be doing now? I'd be in L.A. being a writer for film and television, probably. Hi, Charles, I got a question for you. Hey. What do you wish you would have known when you were in college? Everything fits together. All the things you learn here all fit together into one huge, beautiful thing that's all integrated. I didn't know that when I was a student. I learned it later, and I wished I'd known it then. Interesting. Another question for you. You ever skip class? <laughs> Never. Never. Me neither. See you later. Hey, President Olson. Hey. Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings. Coffee on tea. Coffee. What's the first thing you do when you get to work in the morning? I uh, check with Judy and Ingrid about my schedule for the day, because there's usually a lot of stuff going on. And what's the first thing you do when you get home from work? I kiss Kelly and I ask her how was her day. Hey, President Olsen. Hey. I've always wondered, how many purple ties do you own? I own all of them. Can anyone else pull them off better than you? No way. It's an impressive collection. What's one accomplishment you're very proud of? Well, I made this uh, Taj Mahal out of Legos. That took a long time. That is impressive. Any other hidden talents? Yeah, I can do something I don't know many other people who can do. So I can put one hand like this and put the other hand uh, kind of its opposite, and then I can switch them so each is the opposite of the other one. Try it. What about hobbies? I love to sail. I love to scuba dive, kind of everything involving water. I love to snow ski. That's one of my, probably my favorite hobby to do. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. I would say my favorite ski area, Wazoo, probably is uh, Snowmass in Colorado. Hey, President Olsen. Hey. iPhone or Android? Android. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Backers or Vikings? Vikings. Walking or running? I'd rather be walking. <laughs> hey, President Olsen. Hey. Warriors or the Mavericks? Warriors. Good choice. What's one of the best concerts you've been to? You're a big music fan. Probably the last um, U2 concert uh, we saw in Chicago was uh, Songs of Experience and Innocence Tour. And you're a big Springsteen fan. How many times have you seen him live? 22, and each of those is my favorite concert, too. And your favorite Springsteen album? Um, it'd be Darkness on the Edge of Town. Hey, President Olsen, what is your favorite current artist? Uh, last night I went to a concert with Babel Gilberto. She's a bossa nova artist. It was awesome. If you could be an age permanently, what would it be? This one. What is the best advice you can call students? Take advantage of everything you can do here. Go to every concert, go to every sporting event, go to every play, go to every lecture, because when it's all over, you will miss it. Punctuality is a big deal to a university president, I'm sure. Would you rather be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? 20 minutes early. Would you rather be alone the rest of your life or surrounded by annoying people? I don't know any annoying people, but I'd rather be with people, so I guess I'd take the annoying people. Hey, President Olsen. Hi. Duck, duck, gray duck, or duck, duck, goose? Um, pom, pom, pull away, but in your question, probably duck, duck, goose. Soda or pop? Soda pop. What's your favorite spot on campus? Probably this clock tower. I love the middle of the courtyard here. It's just beautiful. Hey, President Olsen, what's hey. one thing on your bucket list as president? Um, getting the Education Village, the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design, and the Indigenous Learning Garden done. Awesome. What's on your personal bucket list? New Zealand. Awesome. Hi, Dr. McDowell. Hey, President Olsen. I was just talking to a student about you. What is it that students don't know about you? What's one thing that they don't know about you? Students may not know that uh, my wife Telly and I lived in Lourdes Hall for six months. Oh, so West Campus rocks then. Well, the whole campus rocks, absolutely. <laughs> and what most excites you about the future for WSU? You know, we've been here for 160 years, and I, 150 years from now, uh, Lenore State's still going to be here stronger and better than ever. So the future excites me. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a good, good evening. What's something that other people like that you don't get? Family guy. Hey, President Olson. Hey. How cones or ice cream cones? Snow cones. Waffles or pancakes? Uh, pancakes. Marvel or DC? 
Marvel. Favorite Netflix series or movie? Probably, um, most recently, Jessica Jones. What is the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you in your life? Curiously enough, my wife is sitting right here, and it's her. What would be the most annoying thing about having you as a roommate? Oh, I snore. Favorite food? Lamb, Lamb vindaloo. vindaloo. Favorite person you like to spend time with? Sorry, man, it's her. <laughs> hiking or biking? Uh, hiking. What movie title best describes your life? It's a wonderful life. What actor could play you in a movie? Oh, probably Pee Wee Herman would be the best choice. Hugh Jackman. What is your favorite movie of all time and why? Oh, okay, I've been waiting for this question. So, undoubtedly, it's Citizen Kane. Some people would see that as a conventional choice, but um, Citizen Kane created the cinematic language that we still use to this day. Um, it was shot in a style that the French theorist André Bazin calls cinematic realism, which means you have very long, continuous takes, deep focus, lots of um, action and energy in the shot, kind of like this film that we're making right now. Um, and that particular style was deemed by, the, by uh, some of the French critics as being...